The fact that you are trying to be the best version of yourself every day, to me, that's what it means to be an overcomer. Hi, my name is Danielle. Uh, I am 25 this year. I am a filmmaker. I grew up, I think, just like everybody else. I uh, had really loving parents, family, friends. I had a really great childhood. There's an aspect in which you are growing up to become an adult. When I was studying for my O-levels, like I was doing a paper and I don't even remember what the paper was about. I just went into a mental stage of like just being blank and then just crying. When I told this to one of my friends, somebody said something like, oh, uh, I think you're too stressed, like, uh, take a break. And somebody else said, oh, actually, you know, I get that a lot. Nobody had the time to really be like, wait, is this normal, is it not? I told myself, you know, after all level finishes, I won't have any stress, then I probably wouldn't have this problem anymore. I hit an all-time low when I had an argument with my parents. I didn't want to open up to anyone. I was also in a pretty unhealthy relationship as well, not being able to have a conversation with my then-boyfriend. These were moments where people couldn't understand me and I couldn't understand them either. Just thought to myself, like, am I, like, am I just a waste of space? What happened after that was pretty quick. Like, I wanted to, I wanted to take my own life. But at that moment, I felt like there was something inside me as well that said, like, there's more to live for. And thankfully, I mean, at that very moment, like, I was given another chance to live. Essentially, that was what it was. For me, anxiety is very much like when you're looking into a picture frame, you know, there's something blurry at the side and you don't really know why it is. It kind of took up part of the frame and it was my frame, my picture. Because of that, I, I realised that, like, that, that something has to change, something has to give in order to receive a different result. My really close like inner circle of friends, uh, they were really there for me. They, uh, they, you know, hours of just listening to me, suggesting ways that I can deal with it. When I finally went for therapy, um, I remember a therapist like, oh, she was great. She was like a friend, but a friend who, who had seen a lot, you know, who understood what I was going through. There is a way that I can manage this properly. There's a way that I can talk about my sadness. I have been diagnosed with anxiety. I might not have had been able to be in control of it. And now I understand it better, you know, now having a name to it. It's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a, it's a decision you make every day. You know, when something bad happens, those are the moments, those are the testing moments. The fact that you are trying to be the best version of yourself every day, to me, that's what's overcoming. Like, what, what it means to be an overcomer. You can be who you are, and whenever we make mistakes, it's okay, because it's all just uh, work in progress, and having people who can journey with us along the way is, is just great. It, it, it really makes it worthwhile.